Hello everybody, I'm in Obama City, Fukui Prefecture right now. I'm trying to hitchhike out of this place to go to Fukui City. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Just spent the last um, two days in Obama City and had a lot of fun. I'm not a political person, had nothing to do with politics. <laughs> I just came here because it was see, pretty interesting. Right now I put my iPhone on the GoPro uh, jaws clamp stand so it might shake a little bit but it shouldn't be too bad so I thought I'd share with you this hitchhiking experience I'm at Obama interchange which goes up onto the highway um, there's not that many cars that's another reason why I'm live streaming this because I'm, I'm sort of bored oh here comes some hey that's an Itasha That was an Itasha car. He had all this uh, anime on on the uh, on the side of his car, which is pretty funny. <laughs> the great thing about uh, today is that it's 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 sunny because when I started about um, an hour and a half ago, rain was coming down, and I was kind of worried about it because uh, it didn't look good. And then all of a sudden, the clouds parted ways, and the sun came out. Now looks like the perfect day to hitchhike. It's just It's just, um, there's not that many people. It's Saturday afternoon. I think it's Saturday, right? And uh, I guess people by this time are already where they want to go for the day. And the people coming by are usually, um, I don't know, they're not stopping. I've been here for about an hour. I wanted to go to the Dinosaur Museum. For oh, here comes a truck. Whoa, This I love trucks. Got him to smile though. So Fukui, Fukui City has a dinosaur museum and I wanted to go there today. I don't know what time it closed, closes, but essentially I gotta get there um, as soon as possible. Um, like now. <laughs> it takes an hour from this spot to get to Fukui City. Yeah, there's really not that much traffic going in that direction right now towards um, Fukui from Obama. But that doesn't mean I don't I don't stop trying because you know it's it's when you least expect it someone's gonna stop. Honestly, that's what happens. So when you stop trying too hard and you just sort of you're about to give up or you're just like ah no one's gonna stop. Someone will stop and pull up and go, Where are you going? Is it are you going to Fukui? And I go, Yeah. Alright, come on in. That's what happens every time. Every time. Only the first day I started, somebody stopped within um within like four, three or four minutes, which is insane. You know, hitchhiking is a science. It's about being at the right place, knowing um, which direction the people are going, the best spot, and then having the right sign to communicate with you. Uh, sorry, having the right sign to communicate with the people driving by. So you have to not only be in the right spot, but also have the right sign. Um, and then when those two things come together and you have the courage to stand out here and they have the courage to stop, then you get a ride. That's the science behind it. Well, I'm, there's a lot of molecules, a lot of molecules, uh, you know, popping off of each other. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I've been out here in the sun all afternoon, so cut me some slack. is red it's not a bad spot I like this because you see here there's this um, right there is the um, the toll gate for the maybe you can see it better here this is the toll gate for Obama interchange and it goes straight onto the expressway hey do you think this motorcycle is gonna stop
So that's the expressway that goes straight on to the, um, oh. To the expressway. And there's this little um, shoulder that even a truck can stop because people are not really going that fast. They're decelerating to get into the ramp, which is a good thing for me. This is the nice time too because, oh, here comes a car, hold on. made a mistake. A couple of people have done that. They, they slow down and then they stop right there and then they turn around and go back the way they came. I, I Sometimes I think it's for me. It's not. Don't get your hopes up all the time. Most of the time. So I have the phone shaking. Right now the phone is on the GoPro stand which is not very stable for the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, so this is still Obama City, for those of you joining in. I'm at Obama Interchange, and that's the entrance to the highway going towards Fukui Prefecture, and that's my destination. This is Fukui City, Fukui Shi. And there's not much traffic here. Most people, it's Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon um, so I got a late start because I went to the Obama fish market this morning and um, I ate a lot then I had to check out I had to uh, walk out here and it took about two hours and by that time it was like lunchtime and I'd missed the rush of people going but uh, if somebody stops it's fate if no one stops that's my fate and I'm gonna be camping here but someone's gonna stop, I'm telling you. It's when you, it's when you feel the most dejected and rejected and if you stick out here uh, and you fight through it, someone will stop. I did the laundry so I don't, I don't stink. I did take a bath. Oh, here comes a truck. Come on, baby. Woo! Truck, stop for me. Konnigashimasu. Now, he shouldn't be talking on his cell phone. He was talking on his cell phone. That's against the law. And hitchhiking is not against the law. You know how I know? Um, three times on this trip, police officers in patrol cars have driven by me. Two of them have smiled and one of them waved. So if it was against the law, they would have pulled over and, and, and had a, a long talk with, with the hitchhiker, but they didn't. Sports car would have been fun, but they didn't, and they didn't uh, didn't say anything. So really, there's no law against hitchhiking in Japan. Um, maybe California is illegal, but here, and I mean, the culture is so different between the United States and Japan. United States, I I don't know. I I would never hitchhike there. I just it's hard to trust the people. It's hard to trust strangers, I think, in general, in, in, the, in the U.S. But here, strangers are uh, people... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've just been out here a long time. Is just Japan safer? Does that make sense? Japan's just safer. And people, um, I don't know, they don't... I don't say they don't do bad stuff. They do. There are bad hombres in, in Japan. It's just, it's... People stop out of kindness, you know? It's probably in the U.S. too. just a different culture. Oh, I didn't see that. Those two 
just sneak by, but I don't think they would have picked me up. The car was full. Just a different culture. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a sunburn. <sighs> beautiful though. Obama was a beautiful city. I was much. Oh, here comes the cars. <laughs> the woman was looking at me. She had these. She's like this. like this at me, I don't want her to stop. I want her to just keep going. <laughs> I want nice people to stop. Okay, so oh, here comes one more car. Hold on. So what I was saying is, is um, I'm gonna stop talking about this this crap and comparing Japan the USA because I'm not, I don't even know what I'm talking about. What I'm gonna talk about is Obama City and um, yeah, in 2008 this place got pretty famous because of uh, the election because they didn't name the city after Obama. What they did was they saw that they had an opportunity when he became senator in 2006 and the city started to contact with him and the camera might be shaken because of the wind so I think the mayor of Obama City sent him a, a, a message in 2006 when he became a senator and they had this back and forth I guess with his staff and he's already he's always known about Obama City it's a total coincidence because in J Japanese Obama just the phonetics work out perfectly it means small beach They didn't name the city after Obama. Don't think about that. They would never, I don't think any, you know, they wouldn't do that in Japan. Name a city after an American politician. It just worked out phonetically um, because of the way Obama's name is. And, uh, you know, I, I, I thought that that connection was pretty cool. And I found some places, like the hotel I was staying in, uh, well, I forget what, what, what it was called, but it had like a shrine to the 2008 election where they had pictures and signs and I put some of it on the Instagram page if you take a look they had signs and they had gifts they had snacks with the I love Obama on on it with, it, with the Japanese anime pictorial version of the of the uh, former president I thought that was super cool you know I didn't I don't I'm not going to tell you if I voted for him or not. Um, that's something I keep I keep to myself, who I vote for, my political party. Uh, but because I'm American, I don't care who the president is, I think that's, still, that's such a cool thing to have that connection. At least they're smiling and laughing. I like that. Um, I like it that they, there's this connection between the U.S. and between Japan. No matter who the president is, I really don't. I don't. I don't care uh, politically. I just think it was a pretty cool thing. The city's gorgeous. Um, it's a it's a sleepy fisher fisherman's town where people just do nothing. It's just a it's a place where you can like nonbidi, like just take it easy. There's not that much work. The business is shut at 5 p.m. So last night was Friday night, right? And I'm going down the main street and it's dead quiet. There's, there's some izakaya, there's some places to go and have a drink, but the street is just silent. And that's such a contrast to Tokyo or any city. Obama City is, yeah, it's closed by 5 p.m. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Um, the seafood was amazing. Again, I have some pictures of my breakfast uh, on Instagram, only in Japan TV. Uh, <laughs> that was good. The best sashimi I think I've had in, in a long, long time. Uh, sashimi teishoku. And now, I'm fighting to get out of here. It was a good two days in Obama City. Uh, I love the view. You know, I, I don't mind not getting picked up right away because there's moments like this between the traffic. I just stop and I look around and enjoy.
enjoy my surroundings. Let me turn the camera around too. You could take a look at the intersection. You can watch the people reject me if you want. So here, this is the rejection cam, okay? These are the people that you see. Or these are the people that are, are telling me no. So you guys will get your uh, first view of the rejection cam. Okay, I'm over here. I'm going to Fukui. So these people are going to Fukui because that's the direction that I'm on. I'm on the other side. I'm, I'm turning the camera around so you can see what the people look like that are coming this way. This is the rejection cam, the people who don't pick me up. That's the intersection up ahead of where the people are turning in to, to go onto the expressway. And you can see the highway above, um, an elevated road. That's the expressway. He's smiling. All right, here comes a truck. Here comes, oh, it's a Japanese post, post truck. Post office, I support you. I love the Japanese post office. Oh. I guess he didn't love me back. Uh, that was a Japan post truck. The rejection cam is pretty. The rejection cam is pretty sad. I can't remove the hat or else I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn. I got just enough shadow on my on my head. It's it's uh I'll just be squinting if I take my hat off. Tex written on the truck. Why, Tex? Why didn't you stop, man? Next time, Tex. That's the second Tex truck. There must be a company around here called Tex. T-E-X. So I get a little bit of time. Kickstarter plug. I'm selling the DVD. This DVD, this trip on Kickstarter. Um, get a, you can get, I have a collector's box set that's available for this trip. There's too much content. It's gonna be like a two hour film on hitchhiking in Japan. So um, the Kickstarter is almost, it's, it's getting up to like 300% funded now I'm, and with two weeks left. So there's still two weeks left to get either a postcard from the road or DVD or downloadable DVD, which is half the price, which is, um, you know, it helps, that, that helps support this trip. And for those of you on Patreon that are supporting, thanks a lot for that too. I, I appreciate it. And I've been doing live streams to those who contribute on Patreon as well. I'll get the cloud sort of, there's like one cloud and that cloud is just uh, over me right now. All right, here comes another wave of traffic. I'll, I'll let this go for another couple of minutes and then we're gonna, I'm gonna have to uh, cut it out.
right on a farm field. That's the view. Every time a car goes by, I'm sort of looking over in that direction. It's beautiful. Beautiful hills. Oh, here comes a gas truck. That's Bruce Willis used to do the commercials for Eniosu. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? Ah, uh, you know, it's not sad. Oh, here. That's a full truck. I don't mind the people rejecting me. I, I think that that's part of life. I, I think the, the, I'm reading some of the comments. The, the thing with with every with with life is when you're rejected, you just that's when you have to stand up stronger. And and uh, this trip, if anything, it's humbling. <laughs> but what I what I learn each time is that if if you if you give up, no one's gonna stop. If you give up, it's over. So you can't give up. You just you stand out here and you you keep going d despite people laughing or pointing or taking pictures of you or you know I, I like to think of it as I'm, I'm, hel I'm helping them having a, a better day entertaining them in a way but rejection is good for everybody you can't win every time and um, you know if people didn't reject me 99.9% .9 of the time that 0.1% of the time wouldn't have that special meaning I think and when somebody stops, I really, really appreciate it. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's just um, like I'm, I'm very humbled when somebody stops and takes me where I want to go. And people are so kind. They take me to the destination that um, they ask me where I want to be dropped off. And I tell them, you know, anywhere that's convenient. And then they say, how about here? And then I say, okay. And then they'll ask me before I get there, it says, is there something more, somewhere more particular? And I say, okay, maybe the dinosaur museum in Fukui? And nine times out of ten, they'll take me exactly to where I want to go. And that's Japan. That's um, a word that I think some of you might know called omotenashi, maybe. I guess it's like, um, you know, how do I say, like, they, it's loosely translated as hospitality, but I think it's more like you're a guest. When I get into somebody's car, I get the feeling like I'm their guest for, for the duration and they want to treat me as such and they'll give me a bottle of tea or they'll give me a snack sometimes and they treat me very, very, very kindly when I'm inside the car. あ、行きましょう。上手ですね。あ、いやいやいや、あの、19年間日本に住んでる。あ、すごい優しい。ここに泊まった。すいません。どっかずっと旅行されてるんですかうん。あの、<笑><笑> から北海道までヒッチハイクしてます。鹿児島。出張ですね、遠いね。遠いよ。あ。あ、ちょっと。ふ。2日間のオバマにいました。
おすごい開いてるよかった<笑>ありがとうございます<笑>これはさっき私、あの、YouTube ビデオ作ってた、うん、ちょっと今から切ります、ごめんなさい。はい。<笑> right. So, everybody, thanks, thank you very much for,、um, for the support.、Um, I'll be live streaming on the Only in Japan Go channel later on, so、uh, check that out. And、uh, I'm going to Fukui,、uh, going to a, a, a service area nearby, so it, it's a lot closer than here, which is good. Alright, everybody. 